Life in the city. Sometimes the problems seem overwhelming. Violence, poverty, pollution. One way teachers can educate students about these issues is by involving them in community service. In Los Angeles, teachers are educating students about environmental problems by putting them in touch with the environment and then participating in recycling programs and beach cleanups. These are a service to both the school and the community. Each of us has the power to do something about marine debris, even though it is a problem of incredible proportions. Students feel pride when they realize that they really can make a difference. I make a difference and I matter. Getting kids to care about the environment requires first showing them how their actions impact the animals in the ocean and how the city is connected to the ocean through storm drains. After all, why should people care about the vast, watery wilderness of the ocean? Well, the fact is, kids do care. Dad, I think we should recycle, because if we don't, we'll keep throwing away trash and all our landfills will get filled up. And somewhere in the year 2000, the um, landfills will all be filled up and our neighborhoods will be filled up with trash and we won't be able to breathe as easy as we can now. USC Sea Grant helped develop a project for the Malibu Foundation and the California Coastal Commission called the Adopt a Beach School Assembly Program. It's proving to be an effective way of encouraging students to become stewards of the marine environment. My wish will be that all people will clean beaches and help with recycle cans and everything they could. The way that we really motivate these kids to care about the marine environment is by showing them slides from the Center for Marine Conservation that takes a look at all the animals that are choked and dying on plastic and debris and six-pack rings. This really catches the kids and, and, and does motivate them to want to do something about it. So one of the real successes of the program is giving them something to do about it after we've motivated them to care about the environment. We get them involved in recycling programs and the money raised from these recycling programs helps pay for buses to get them to a beach cleanup. In the classroom, a slideshow introduces students to the wonders of the ocean. A trip to the beach to participate in a cleanup follows a few weeks later. The work makes kids feel a relationship with the ocean and a responsibility for its well-being. If my wish for the environment is to um, all the trash can just go away so we can have a, a good environment. An important element of the program is that the kids pay for the beach trip themselves by collecting money from recycling. I wish I could keep the earth clean. I get money, like a waste. Students are empowered by being able to help solve a problem that is so visible to them. I'm just happy because I'm helping to throw the trash on the trash and to recycle things so that the animals can be hurt. And they learn what they can do in the future to improve the environment. I think that after this I'm going to be more involved on recycling and helping clean up our environment, the beaches and everything. Recycling and cleaning up the coast are two services kids offer to the community while learning about environmental science. Other subjects also can be taught, like math, social studies and geography. I think this uh, fits very nicely into the uh, into many, many themes at appropriate grade levels, at appropriate ages. Uh, some of the things I've been able to accomplish, um, working and, and exercising and discussing and showing and writing and, and drawing about the, the types of experiences that some of them have had. We look to en enrich a, a child's educational environment through experience, and the most enriching experience can be the hands-on type of thing. Students learn about how plastics cause problems in the environment and which products they can buy that are made from recycled materials. Here, they can't get loose. And Educators so and administrators an find that the lessons band. of recycling and cleaning up are meaningful to young people in other ways as well. The changes that I've seen in the children have a lot to do with their work in school. They're so excited about this program and what they did that they're writing about it. Every day I have a student turning in writing about what they did to help save the animals or to clean up the earth. And I think that has had a really good effect on them. Parents got involved. Uh, parents started taking to the recycler and uh, 
keeping score and making graphs. Uh, ever since January, we, in our weekly bulletins, we put how much money each classroom's been collecting so they could start graphing and use it for math. A lot of math activities collecting money. It connects activities that go on in the classroom about learning about marine science to getting out at the beach and giving the kids hands-on experience about how they can make a difference in the world. We think it's a model that people throughout the state and throughout the nation can use. There are many resources available for teachers who want to teach about marine debris and other environmental issues. Teachers can also start a school recycling program, organize an ecology club, adopt a beach and help take care of it, or get involved with an environmental organization. On even the most remote islands, animals are suffering from the careless disposal of trash and other wastes into the ocean. Some areas in our coastal cities have become dumping sites, dangerous places for animals and people to live in or visit. But other areas along the coast offer examples of hope. People of all ages are coming together to take better care of the planet and its resources. Children, as the leaders of tomorrow, are the ones who will decide what kind of environment we will live in. This child will make a difference. This child will make a difference. Teachers will make a difference by leading their students to right choices and right actions. For more information on environmental education, contact your local or state Sea Grant program.